Hey guys, I'm working on my ProBoat Zealous 36. I'm going to be programming the ESCs. Um, so this is going to give you guys some suggestions on what to set your ESCs at, um, how to program it, and so forth. Um, this is my battery setup. I'm running Racer's Edge. These are 7.42 cell, 6,000 milliamp, and they're 75 C. Um, so they don't have the uh, connector. I have other vehicles that I'm running Traxxas, so I make a conversion deal so I can run all my Traxxas batteries to this and not have to have several different setups. In any case, getting right to the point, um, here's the manual uh, that tells you how to do it. Uh, I'm just going to tell you that I generally run my running mode at Ford only. My lipo cell um, I run at auto calculate. My LVC, LVC threshold, um, you don't want your batteries to drop below 3.0 volts. And since this is a boat and you sometimes you need to get back to the dock, I'd prefer to protect my batteries and have it shut off a little sooner and then have time to get back to the dock. So I'm sending mine at 3.2 volts to protect it. And then my timing, I'm setting at 7.50 degrees. Um, I've done a lot of research. There's nothing in the manual that tells you what or tells you what to set your timing at. Um, this is what I've been told is the best timing for the stock two-pole uh, setup. So anyway, we'll go ahead and go through the procedure. It's real simple. You want to go ahead and pull the th throttle. Light comes on, or turn. Excuse me. Turn the remote on. You're going to go ahead and pull the throttle and hold it. Do not let go of the throttle. You're going to go ahead and turn the system on while you're holding the throttle down. You get two beeps and then one long musical beep. Okay, now you're in programming mode. I have not let go. Okay, one beep is for running mode. Two beeps is to lipo mode. Three beeps. LVC threshold. Four beeps is timing. Whenever you're ready, now it'll start over by giving me a long musical signal. Now one beep. I'm going to let go. I'm now in programming mode for setting running. So I'll get two beeps for forward and reverse, and one beep for forward. Whenever I'm ready to do it, I'm just going to go ahead and pull the trigger, but I'm not going to let go because I want to program all four functions, and I'll show you what I mean. So that was two beeps for forward reverse. One beep, I'm going to pull. That's telling you that it has set it, and now it's going to the next set of programming, which was two beeps. Three beeps is LVC threshold. Four beeps is timing. Then a musical signal, it'll start all over. This whole time I'm holding the throttle. I'm not going to let go until I get to two beeps. That was one for running mode. Two for lipo, let go. Now I want it on auto calculate, so when I get one beep, I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger, not let go. Three beeps was three S, four beeps, four S, five, or one long beep and a short beep is six S, excuse me. Now we're starting over. Pull it, it tells me it's programmed. It did a long, now it's going to go three beeps for LV3 threshold, four beeps for timing. It's going to start all over again, long musical thing. I'm still not letting go. One beep, running mode. Two beeps, lipo mode. Three beeps, LVC threshold. Let go. I am in LVC threshold. Two beeps is 2.8 volts. Three beeps is 3.0 volts. Four beeps. Now I'm going to keep going because I want to show you something. You're going to get a long beep now. And that's the long beep. Now it'll start over. No protection. Two beeps, 2.8. Three beeps, 3.0. Four beeps, I'm going to pull and hold. I am now set, and I'm moving on to timing. Four beeps. Okay, now I would have let go to show you guys. We'll start all over. Music. Now we'll get one beep. Two beeps. Three beeps, and four beeps will be in timing. Let go. I'm going to set it to three beeps. Two 
Now, if I would have pulled it, it'll set it. Then we're going to go ahead and let go, and we'll be done this time. So when you're ready to be done, you won't pull it and hold it and keep going. You'll pull it to set it and then let go, and you'll be done. And I'm going to show you what I mean. So for, we're going to go all the way through because we're going to get the one long beep, and that was three beeps. Now it starts over with one beep. Two beeps is 3.75. Three beeps. I'm going to pull it. Instead of holding, I'm going to let go. Pull it. It sets. Now let go. And I'm done. Now the lights are solid and everything's ready. No reverse because that's what I set it to. You can see when you hit reverse, the lights flash. Or the lights flash. Reverse, they flash. And I am done. That's how you set the ESPs for all your timing and everything you need. Now, when you're all done with that, go ahead and turn the power off. Turn the remotes off. And you are set. That's it. Now, like I said, I set forward only. I set my LiPo cells to auto-calculate. I set my LVC, LVC excuse me, threshold to 3.2 volts. You can set it to 3.0 volts. Um, but I still recommend going a little high just to protect your batteries. Uh, and timing, I said at 7.50. Okay. I wouldn't go any higher than that. They say um, that's basically, you don't want to go any more than 10 is what I'm being told with a two pole. And so the highest rating you can go without going over 10 is 7.5. So that's what I've set it at. So anyway, that's how you do it. I hope that's helped you guys understand how to uh, program your ESC. Um, and I will have another video that will show you how to program your full throttle. Um, and there's another sheet for that. And uh, just to share, I will show you uh, throttle range calibration, it's called. And that will be a, another uh, video. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, hope that helps.